Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Huangshao campaign. We pick it up for episode 28 from turn 101 in the harvest season of 210. So last episode we ended with a pretty long siege here in Xiangyang, which is the capital of Liu Bao's faction. And uh, we're going to pick it up from here. We have a level up right here on our healer. Um... She's basically a cavalry officer at this point. Mm, there's not anything really good for her to get, considering replenishment's maxed out. Morale bonus, maybe? Yeah, none of this help. 10 morale to own retinue? I don't think they need it. They're already really high morale units. Uh, melee armor piercing damage. This might be the only buff that can actually do something. Let's do it. And our plan going forward right now, considering that all our army has moved, is we're just going to swing down through the tool maker into the Jiangling livestock farm and the port. And then sail down to Changsha to take our final emperor seat. Um, the armies over here can squeeze through from Runan into uh, Cai Mao's territory. And take out Huang Zhu as well as they meet up with the forces here. Uh, our southern forces are stalling uh, because of terrain and because they actually have resistance. Um, but overall things are going pretty smoothly. And uh, there's not much left as we steamroll to victory here um, assuming they're not going to put up a fight I think we did all the buildings before we did the siege so let's just end turn all right kingdom of Wu has signed a peace treaty with the Han Empire who's still alive somehow Yuan Shu and Liu Zhang has formed a coalition okay we picked up another reform garrison games increased recruitment public order Ooh, minus three morale. Enemy armies in local commandery. That's not bad. This one's... Oh, execute them. Wait. Following the town's capture, you're asked what to what should be done about the imprisonment of the town's former garrison. They appear to be competent soldiers who might prove useful if enlisted, but may harbor loyalties to their previous warlord and display a reluctance to serve you. Hmm... So this is Xiangyang we're talking about here. How about we just release them? Local public water should help in Xiangyang actually. Uh, over here. Oh, never mind. We have so many armies here, it doesn't really matter. And there's a garrison that we don't need. Uh, we're going industry and commerce here, so we don't need any of these buildings. Now, they're all trying to retreat back, but it's not working out for them because we're going to catch up to all of them. This army can't reach them. This army can. Uh, first, we're going to send our guys over here. Okay, let's see. Small issue is we don't... Uh, we could go through this way. It's faster to reach the city. Gonna move this army to... Here. And they'll crush them. We captured all three. We'll release all three. And then... They can fight because we have the big army to reinforce. Now they're wiped. 
思维迅捷，则可避其锋芒。千层波浪，充实巨岩。Let's see, what do we want here? Probably nothing. <laughs> None of this is really good. We can go for the commerce income. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so let's decide how should we approach it. I think these two armies can actually go towards Runan. It's Iron Mine. Let's first go here. It will be a trespassing next turn, but we'll just declare war on them. And then this army will swing down. They will go towards Runan, and first we have to take this free capital. They're ready in range, so this just be a delegate. Alright, time to declare war on Cai Mao. Alright, we just have to... Mm, the Wu forces are in full retreat as well. This army is not very strong. We need to be careful. But this seems like a long way to go. Towards the fishing port. Hmm. We're still trying to reorganize this army. Doing the healer swap. So maybe we should do that now, actually. But we can take a free commandery. Ah, Liu Bell's forces. Alright. Unbreakable is good. Just gotta get you recovery soon. We can try to do a swap here. We'll swap this next turn before we go down to Jiangxia. Let's see who else leveled up. Dian what? Industry income. Alrighty. What other reforms do we want? We got our cavalry for the veteran class. So we can probably create a army of cavalry now since they're so cheap. Trade agreements. There's no one to trade with us. Greatly increased satisfaction and greatly reduces corruption. Increase morale when defending. Increase income. Yeah, let's get all the units. Alright, now our southern armies. After... Okay, we declare war so we can actually go into the territory. They're pulling back. That leaves this open to attack. Our newest army, but very experienced units, 
are trying to race towards our main forces to join in on the fight before everything is over. Maybe they can go south a little bit, just in case they need help. Like, if I'm playing as Wu, I will come up and attack this force just because they're so weak. Which is why we're going to ambush them instead. And our southernmost army that's just trying to get out of this territory. We want the copper mine for sure. But I don't know the enemy situation here. Alright. We got lucky. It was safe. Alright, let's fly through the buildings. Uh, Anping is done. Bohai needs upgrade here. Dong is done. Guangling. We're going farming slash commerce. So this needs to be gone. They actually have assignments. Um, we could give them some assignments. Lots to build, actually. But we're short on veterans. Ah, level one veteran. What's one turn? Nothing's one turn. All right, we'll build this. Trade port, I guess. Four turns. Oh, that's a waste of assignments. Let's do that first. Commerce and industry. Forge. Same thing. Commerce and industry. Communal trade. Yangzhou? Hmm. Alright, I like the grain storage here. We rushed it for public order. I think it will balance out. Yeah, if action support's gonna go down, then we don't have to worry about it. Let's build this. Food is fine. Let's do research rate first. Yubei Ping. Keep upgrading it. Newly captured. Uh, we don't need this. This town is in bad shape. Alright, level 5. Xiangyang. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, let's go to the next turn. Ah, they tricked us. They turned around and came back to fight. Um, this army doesn't have any trebuchets. And we're against some seriously tough enemies. I think we'll just pull back for now. They can't catch us. Alright, and Shi Hui declared war on Huangzu. Interesting. And Huangzu got liberated. Ooh, a lot of cheerful. It's not bad. One honest. Okay. So they pulled back. So that slows their retreat. Means we can probably cut them off here and then go help our friend over there. Alright. Another copper mine should help our corruption issue. Hostage sent. Okay. So we got a new general. Now, why would you send your son to the yellow turbans? I'm going to actually just rush this to tier 5 for the 4%. And... Let's see. Did you send a useful son? A farmer. Ooh, a burned officer. And a farmer. 
So he could be a uh, administrator. Very useful son. Uh, where are you? Where are you? So we're going to put him in this army. And we're just going to siege this out. Actually, we're going to siege with this army. Because our leader is in a rush to get into Changsha. Yeah, we'll just delegate this. Alright, now the issue is I really want this, but it's so far away. It's very hard to reach. We might have to just send a naval force over. Alright, we're gonna go all the way to here. They will follow and then we'll recruit a new general here. Oh, he has this livestock farm, but he doesn't have the port. Interesting. Finally, a new officer I can be excited about. Who is not last on the list. Ah, there's actually people in the recruitment pool. Interesting. Alright, we don't need these. And... Let's see, recruitment pool. Anyone useful? Another farmer? Do you have good traits for being an administrator? You do not, and we fired you. We fired you twice. Ooh. <gasps> Gongdu released this guy? Level 6. Well, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. Jade Carver, not that useful. Jade Carver, okay. So what we could do is we could move her out. Move her into a cavalry army. All right, we'll, we'll organize that part out soon. We might switch everyone in this army. We should have made this full range a long time ago. Yeah, we might actually do that. Um, we'll worry about it very soon. We're going to use the one that's farther back to take the town. So this one can continue to move faster forward. Just a tag team effort as we sweep through. We'll take We'll take meditation first. Alright, we're gonna head towards the livestock farm. But we'll stay on our side. Because we need replenishment. I think the road will get better in the spring. So we'll still reach. Without an issue. Alright. Now this is where things get a little bit complicated. Pop him out. And we're putting. Hui into this army. I guess so. That way both army has reach. And then Hema into this army. Okay. Well now neither one can catch them, but that's fine. He doesn't really have a place to retreat to because his lands are all taken. This works out better for everyone, at least a little bit better. Over here, we retreated back. We might just ambush in our territory for a little bit, recover some military supplies. And we're getting help, so we kind of have them trapped here. So I think with the new burned officer, we definitely want to put her in this army. That way we have five burned buff going forward. But the issue is we're going to have to move her out. 
and she's a good she's a physician so she's going to be a good uh, cavalry officer so potentially we can have her create a new army and somehow join the fight quickly we could create an army for them in the south Honestly, He Yi should be in that army. He is a good physical damage officer as well. Do we have a good veteran left? Because if we do... Yeah, we could give it to him. Plus 25 charge speed. Philosophers... Um, kind of wasted for that position because they could get flaming shot this is a writer another philosopher monk monk with reach yeah this will be good with two uh, with He Yi and a physician also wasting the flaming shot a little bit Because we want this officer. I mean, the other problem is he's also a physician, so the burn o the burn trade is not really gonna help. Because he can't really recruit a good range army. Like if we recruit him, we'll give him full cavalry, and we're gonna switch the reclaimers. We're going to switch the reclaimers to crossbowmen and just use cavalry as our front line. It's a little risky. But it's probably more interesting. Let's um, recall her. We don't. Okay, so we don't want these cavalry later. We still want the two red one. So this will be cheaper for her to be redeployed. Then we recruit the new general we just got. Whose name is... Is it you? No, it's a level six. Oh, it's a level six healer. Yeah, easy to identify. And we'll get rid of his army. We'll go with free cavalry front line. These guys are okay. They're not terrible. We can also do a Yosa front line. Let's see. Higher damage. Higher range block chance. They could just sit in the front with their high range block chance and just be very passive cavalry. Let's try this. Maybe this will work. And then we'll swap these to crossbowmen. Oh, actually, we should swap them to men of the forest. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was thinking about how much they do in terms of base damage, because he boosts base damage, but they're not that different. So, let's still do crossbowmen. Alright, this army is ready. And I think we're done with this turn two once we do the buildings. Public order. We want farming house. Oh, don't want to zoom here. Finally, copper mine. We can just rush this one. Because that helped out right away. Alright, public order is back to positive. Uh, we want in building, artisan building, 
trade building and then upgrade the inn. Taiyuan really should be built up more. Not doing a good job here. Yeah, maybe we should just rush everything here. This is going to be a big income source for us. Uh, wait, which route is better? This route's better. Yeah, flat income route's better. It's very brute force. Uh, we can't rush it anymore. Okay, that's fine. We spend all our gold, but our income is 50k a turn, so no worries. Okay, she's the local leader in Taiwan. She leveled up from all those buildings, huh? We would like more expertise on her, I guess, but I don't think we need it. We need both of these, so let's go this route. Yangzhou. Yeah, we ran out of money for everything else. Oh, actually, we still have some little bit of cash. Now we're officially out of cash. All right, that's fine. We'll build more next turn. Let's go. All right, Kingdom of Wu has jumped in and vassalized Huangzhou. That's fine. Oh, we got a horse from our animal tamer. Let's see, what horse is it? Just a white stallion. Not bad, but not that great either. We have one on him. Give him a good weapon. Herdsman for the formations. And... Well, that's a good book. Morale for melee cavalry. Perfect. All right, so Huangzhu actually has an army here defending, but he's going to get overwhelmed. Um, that's a bad life decision. Ran all this way and still died. All right, now we can move slowly towards... Uh, we're not declared war yet, huh? All right, now we have you guys trapped here. We'll take it slow. We'll ambush our way to the fishing port together. And they'll meet up and crush this army. Yeah, he hasn't been claiming any more new lands. And then it's directly through Puyang into uh, Changsha. Our new army might not get to see any action. Uh, they're, they're racing over as quickly as they can. All right. We can't reach the town, but we can reach the livestock farm. We might actually send them to capture the weapon craftsman, even though it's not really important. But I kind of want it. And I, I don't really need everyone to go to Changsha. Seems like we're going to have like eight plus armies heading toward Changsha. So, you're going to take your time. You can stop here in Badong and grab that for us. And then go to Shangyong. I'm going to start with this army in the back. Uh, we're just going to pop him into the right commandery. 
This should be overwhelming force for them. Medium casualty. Are they insane? Alright, we're fighting it and cutting it out. Alright, that was clean. And I realized something. Uh, this army doesn't need to be melee cavalries because the enemy will never have ammo. Because we're essentially five burn officers traveling together. So we could actually spend a little money and swap them to these guys who do more damage. So we're going to do just that. It doesn't really matter. Upkeep cost is the same. Recruitment cost super cheap. Just ridiculous. Alright. So Huangzu actually has an army here. But poor guy is fit looking at five armies in his range. <laughs> oh man. Um... We don't need everyone to come. Uh, we'll just bring three. And I think I'll just delegate. There's no point to watch a long siege at this point. Oh, uh, we didn't. Oh, uh, we didn't declare war on them. Well. Here. Now it's official. At, liberated right away. Liberated right away. Doesn't want to get into the fight. Crushing defeat. Interesting. Um, let's see how the AI changed their mind as uh, more people come. Uh, second army. Third army. Alright, what do you think AI? Decisive victory. Alright, perfect. Level up here. Flaming shot, finally. We got it before the game ended. We can actually catch them. Sorry, guys. We'll execute for that. All right, let's see. We might. We don't need. They don't need help. Seems like King Love Wu is actually gathering up armies, so that's nice. Uh, we'll go find our leader. They're trapped. They already moved. Oh, 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 never mind. We set up the ambush for next turn. I thought it's been a turn already. So much fighting. Uh, where is she? Uh, in this army. Really short on military supplies, though. We can give you something to help with that. Who has Wu Zi? Uh, we'll swap with you. Give you a horse. Hmm. We've been getting horses, I see. Uh, let's see, what should we give her in terms of skill? Fire arrow, that's good. This one's good too, but maybe just fire arrow for now. Uh, who did we steal the item from? Uh, he is a singer. What army are you in? You're in this one. Also short on military supplies. What's going on, guys? Give you a bow. Ooh, ooh, melee cavalry. I mean, we switched away from melee cavalry though. Hmm. That's fine. 
Alright, this is He Man's ranged army. This is He Yi's army that's still ranged. Although he could probably get some better units, to be honest. We'll do a pair of these. And we'll give him some actual cavalry as well. But he might actually do melee cavalry. Just because he needs to be the arrow soaking front line. And then we'll give you the melee cavalry items. This guy right here, six more morale plus six more morale. And then this item is actually quite good for during sieges. Uh, campaign movement range. Now, Hema isn't leading the army though. I don't want it to go to cooldown. But I don't know who's leading. Um, I think we'll find one with reach. Then we know they're leading the army for sure. Come on, one of you are leading the army. You are leading the army. There we go. Increase siege. And we'll throw you. Uh, we don't need to throw him a horse. We need to throw our local leaders a horse. There you go. Perfect. Alright, which armies haven't moved? This army haven't moved. Headed towards Jiangling. Okay, everyone else moved. Another reform. We'll take the 40% commerce. And let's see. Done. Not done. Need public order here. Uh, it's fine right now. Wang uh, Ling, we removed the building. We want commerce. Jian An, that's fine. We're probably never going to develop it. More industry. Wait. Oh, okay. The pole order is fine. It's bounced back. Okay, let's continue the steamroll. Oh, got a weapon. Ah, G of the Imperial Guard. Not bad. Uh, let's give it to someone. Here. It's your lucky day. I clicked on you first. You already have a good one. Oh, huh, not bad. Whoa, I'm surprised that everyone has good weapons. Ah, uh, there you go. Wow, you are really in a bad state. Some extra cunning for you. And yeah, that's it. We're really short on cunning items. Um... Maybe add some replenishment for your army. Yeah, it's kind of low. Level up. 
kind of pointless now. Wrapping things up. All right, let's debuff the ammo here. Take the town by yourself. It's a town. What has the AI been doing? All right, delegate. Zero loss. Wow. Alright, we got ourselves the first step to crossing the river. We got the port. You can take this as well. Medium casualty. That's fine, we'll heal up. Flaming shot. There you go. All right, they're gonna their job is to grab the weapon craftsman, even though it's probably not gonna spawn any more weapon for us. They are sailing somewhere. They're abandoning their positions. Alright, all these armies here, there's four of them, are gonna cross into Badong and start heading down towards Changsha. These two armies are gonna go straight for the trade port. Now, I don't think we can reach there. We might as well just land. It's safer on land than in the waters. This army is a little short on military supplies. So we might have them sit here for a little bit. And get more supply by encamping. I don't expect resistance, but we can be safe about it. Alright, we can't reach. Oh, Zhao Yun. I see you found a new master. Uh, we're ready. Uh, starve out for now. It's actually quite a large force. But they're getting tag teamed. Uh, we want to fight them from the same side. Uh, we'll just take the win. The chanter died. That makes sense, actually. Alright, no reach in this army. This army is really bad. Um, let's see, what do we want? Charge bonus? Armor? Extra armor is good. Alright, let's get the heal ability and then we'll get extra armor. This army, she leveled up. Mm, melee fighters, huh? Melee fighters. Campaign movement range. Melee damage. Replenishment. Let's do this first. Alright. Uh, their job is to go through Puyang. Their job... Yeah, so basically... I think at this point, it's pretty much over. We don't even need to recruit new armies. Or build any buildings, to be fair. Um, so I think we want to call an end to the episode right here. I think we're one episode away from winning it all. Uh, we pretty much close out the Central Plains. There's one fishing port left. We just couldn't reach it this turn. And we encroached on their side already. We're going to send this army off doing pointless missions, capturing Liu Bao's capital and the weapon craftsmen. Seems like Tai Mao actually did pretty well. He actually has quite a few territories in the south. Um, but four army groups right here, along with a burned buff group, uh, is going to come down into Badong 
and they're gonna stroll their way towards the capital uh, two more armies here will land and take the trade port two armies will take the fishing port and then land to attack the iron mine Zhao Yun's over here and these two armies gonna scroll down to take Puyang city and uh, that's gonna be it for this game I think we're we're gonna hit the 95 requirement of commanderies owned um, let's see we currently have 92 so once we capture 93 94 95 and then emperor seat and that's the win so see you guys next episode later